Nothing is ever an easy fix, but the mood always seems to lighten up here. I needed to replace the starter pull cord on my generator. I had done it before, and it ain't easy. The hardest thing to do with this um, thing is to open the casing. I already had trouble with one of those bolts there, and had to pry it out, cut it out. Now I've got only four bolts holding the casing together. And of course there's one giving me a hard time. The problem is with this screw that screws into the other side of the uh, casing. Well, the bolt there is encased in the plastic and the whole bolt is moving. And the plastic casing is not strong enough to hold it. So I'm gonna have to figure out something, wedge something in there. So what I ended up doing is uh, drilling the plastic out from around the, uh, the bolt so I can get in there with a ratchet, get in the other side with a screwdriver, a ratchet also, and hopefully we can pull that out. In theory it worked, but that nut was on tighter than barnacles on Blackbeard. Always one bad bolt or strip screw or busted nut. No! When I was at Anchor, my neighbors were Sean and Elisa, a South African and his pregnant German girlfriend, as well as their two big dogs. They're crossing to Brazil, and they brought along Nana from Ghana, a friend of mine who's been waiting to catch a ride to the Americas. By the time this video airs, they should be in Brazil, se Deus quiser. Well, I made one hell of a mess. Cut my finger a little bit. Angle grinder burn. But the screw is out, it's out, it's out. I'm just gonna replace it. And it'll be good as, not new, but it'll be solid. Now the hard part comes, is changing the pull cord. I'm as mechanically inclined as a sloth with a Rubik's Cube. But I really need my generator to work. So I did get in there after all. All I can say, thank goodness for YouTube, man. I don't know if you could see this, but the spring coil wasn't uh, recoiling properly on my pull starter, and I couldn't understand why. Just went online and uh, looked it up, and the spring wasn't catching onto the, to the wheel here. Managed to have a catch. Can't really show you here because it's hidden behind here, but now it seems to be working. I just have to tighten the bolt, and it should be okay. Our friend Brun is back. Right, looks like I successfully changed the pull cord. It's working. Uh, I also changed the oil. I hadn't done that for a long time and it's pretty, pretty dirty. So my friend Peter uh, suggested that because um, I completely forgot or spaced it. And he's like, dude, how many hours has it been running? And it's like, well, I don't know. But so anyways, I did that today. It was pretty easy. Next thing to do is to get this fixed. There's a bolt that goes through this metal tube and it goes on the bottom of the um, generator. And this is works as a support also. And this thing was just fused. There's no way to, 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 to unscrew it. So I had to friggin' angle grinder it out. So let's see if we can get this out, get a new screw, bolt, and then use this tube again. I'm no engineer, I'm no mechanic. <laughs> I don't know practically nothing about fixing stuff, but boy, I'm sure I'm learning. I should smooth that out a little bit, huh? All right, let's smooth that out a little bit. That's better. I don't know if I've really highlighted my little workshop here, but this little work area, workbench is cool. 
low vice grip. I've got all my tool drawers here. And then the bigger tools I stuck here in this area here. quest to find a screw this long that can fit in here well you don't have that many choices here in Cape Verde there's one store that could have had it and I went there and they're on vacation until the 21st of August so I went to another place another hardware store that I know and they looked around they didn't have what I wanted obviously but they had this it's got threads here, it will fit perfectly, same size. So what I'm thinking of doing, I'm just going to cut it, and I have a tapping set, and I'm going to add some threads here, put a bolt here, bolt there, boom, we got a solution. And you know how much this cost me? Free! I know the guys that were cool, they said, no, you can have this free, this was like to hang ceilings, they, they just had it hanging around. Nice, thank you very much. Let's see if we can make this work. This project took me two days. I started while on anchor and finished at my mooring. There was something else I needed to address. The floor in the starboard aft cabin. Well, I've removed most of the stuff, but not all of it. All this rotten wood. Water's been getting in here, and I've always felt it kind of soft ever since I bought the boat. This was obviously repaired, and it's not very solid. And so anyways, I'm gonna patch this up with a piece of wood, just temporarily dry this out. I should fiberglass this correctly and everything, but then I can't get in here. If there's water to be removed, I think it's coming from the tank here. When I overfill it, it goes into one of these bilges. So I just have to be careful to not overfill that tank because it spills into these buildings. Well, this could be a pretty good hiding place from any future unwanted visitors. I had been pretty productive the past couple of days. Now nah, it was time to have some fun, again. All right, tonight we're going to another event. There's an event going on on uh, La Gigna Beach called uh, Sea Rock. Apparently there's a bunch of performers there. I'm with a gang, Peter, Lily, Maurice and Fanny, Wendy. And tomorrow starts the Festival of Bahia de Gatas, which is gonna be another event which I'll try to cover for you all. So let's go, it's time to have fun. Come along, come aboard, no bye. Me and Peter didn't really know what this night would be about. The stage had been set on the beach, and everybody else seemed to know what was happening.
was quite the performance by the Brazilian. The women sure enjoyed it. You got to admit, he's got some moves. Next week will be Cape Verde's biggest festival, and it's really big. It was great to have you along on this voyage. If you enjoyed your trip, give us a like and subscribe. You'll help us navigate better. Me and my boat Galapan promise you a good time every Wednesday. So welcome aboard. Ziggy, 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 ziggy. <laughs>